place of the train. Tonight, you'll be the murderer. And I'm the detective. We're going to have some fun and do something totally different. Because tonight, you won't just watch the magic. By touching your TV screen, you at home will actually participate in performing an illusion. An illusion in which you will choose the train car that I attempt to vanish tonight. Now, you've seen me do magic with people here, but now it's your chance. For the first time, you and I are going to do the magic together. I'm serious, because if you don't play along, the next few minutes will be a big waste of time. Now, here's what you've got to do. If there's a group of you in the room, elect one person to participate. If you're alone, you're elected. Right now, stand up and come to the TV so that you're able to touch the screen. Do it now. And touch my finger. Can you feel that? That's not the trick. You can let go of the screen now. But stay real close, because in a moment, by touching the screen, we're going to do something incredible. And take a good look at these train cars. And listen carefully. Here's the idea. Tonight, you, the murderer, are going to put your finger on a car and move around the train. And I'm going to find you. The amazing thing is, even though you're at home and I'm here, I'll know exactly where you are. And the car that I find you in will be the train car that I attempt to vanish tonight. Here are the rules. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to choose a car to start on. Then I'll ask you to move, say, four times. For example, if you were to choose male, you could count up or down, side to side, frontwards, or backwards on any adjoining car, like this. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. There are infinite possibilities, but never move diagonally. This is your last chance to participate, so come real close to your TV so you're able to touch the screen. Right now, go ahead and select one of the cars to start on by placing your finger on the screen. It's your choice. Touch a car now. Good. Keep your finger on the screen. I'm going to make it even harder for me to find you by adding more cars. Get ready to move to four other cars. Remember, never move diagonally. Never skip over cars. Just up or down or side to side to four other cars. Move as I count. Ready? One, two, three, four. When you finish, leave your finger on the last car you've touched. Now I know that you're not in a staff car, so I'll take it away. When a car has been removed, you may not move onto that space, but you still have eight other cars in which to move. With your finger on the last car you touched, stand by to move your finger up or down or side to side to five other cars. It's your choice. Move as I count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can tell you're not in the club car, so I'll remove it. Now move two more times. Ready? One, two, good. I can see you're not in the mail car, so I'll get rid of the mail car. Move three times now. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, I know you're not in the baggage car or the caboose. There are only four cars left. Now move three more times. Ready? One, two, three. A few seconds ago, many of you were in the shower, but you're not there now, so I'll take it away. Remember, you had a free choice every step of the way. Stand by to move once. Ready? Move. And keep your finger there. Remember, you started where you wanted and you moved where you want. But believe it or not, even though you're at home and I'm here, I know exactly where you are. You, the murderer, are not in the engine and not in the bar car. You're in the dining room.